happening? What's popping? What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another great episode of Summer with the Spizzards. I'm just going to bring you guys daily sports talk. So if you're new here, if you're old here, you haven't already subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you start what you're doing. Leave a comment, subscribe, keep rocking with me. Also, make sure you check out the mini links down below. The first link is to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel. And shout out to everyone who have recently bought me coffees. And the second link is to shop the official Simone with the Spizzorts, our merch collection. Get you the classic tee, the wavy tee, or the brand new fly or die crew neck for all of my birds fans. And lastly, guys, turn your notification bells on because you already know the videos are coming live. Boom, 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 boom. And you don't want to miss a single video or a single live stream. But y'all, what's up? What's happening? It's a new day. It's a new dawn. And I'm feeling good. You know what I'm saying? Y'all might have had me a little bit down last night. You know, instant reactions in my feels and jeans. But today's a new day. You know what I'm saying? And I'm feeling good. So let's talk about everything we have going on. So we have two days until Sixers Raptors game six in the six, six versus the six game six. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of six, 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 G. You know what I'm saying? I think that's a, isn't a six, six, six like something bad? Anyways, y'all, we got to talk about this. And like I said, I have a lot to get into today, but I'm going to give you guys the rundown. First, I'm going to start talking. First, I'm going to talk about player performances some media stuff, some stuff Joel and B said in the media, um, some player performances. Then I'm gonna have to talk to these Raptors fans a little bit because I got a little something to say to the Raptors fans, but I'm gonna say that for last, you know what I'm saying? But y'all, let's start with one. So Joel and B said in the press conference last night, he was asked, he was asked about James Harden only attempting 11 shots and Joel and B said, it's um he wants Harden to be more aggressive it's not his job to you know motivate Harden or it's not his job okay so Joel and B said I mean I've been saying this all season since he got here he needs to be aggressive and he needs and he needs to be himself that's not really my job that's probably on the coach to talk to him and tell him to take more shots especially if they're going to guard me the way they've been guarding but that's not really my job and I agree with Joel and B a thousand percent it's not his job. James Harden is a former NBA MVP. James Harden has been here before. James Harden has been in the league so long. I can see a young gun like Tyrese Maxey might need some motivation or whatever from Embiid or from the team. Like, be more aggressive, Tyrese. Boom, 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 boom. He's a second-year player. There's no excuse for James Harden not being aggressive. James Harden has been in the league how long he's done this. He knows this. He knows his job. He knows his role was to come to Philly and help us win games when Joel Embiid is off. The point of having James Harden, the point of that trade was not just to get rid of Ben Simmons. It was also to make this team better while Joel Embiid is in his prime. We got James Harden to win us games when Joel Embiid is off, when Joel Embiid is injured. He's supposed to carry the team. That was what was in the contract. I thought 11 shots when he's supposed to be the best shooter on this team. Like I said, James is supposed to be the backcourt of Joel and B dominating the front court. James Harden dominating the backcourt. And like I said, he got away with it sometimes because he was doing such a great job facilitating, setting everybody up. But now his facilitation has even been off. He hasn't been aggressive, hasn't been decisive, wide open shots just hesitating to take wide open shots. I don't understand what's going on with James Harden, y'all. But like I said, the writing has been on the wall. We saw it last, well, I saw it last season when he was with the Nets. He had, he was not right. This, starting this season with the Nets, Kevin Durant was in the same situation that Joel Embiid is now in. It was several games early in the season. If Ky oh, and Kyrie experienced it too. When Kevin Durant was hurt, and it was just Kyrie and James. James was barely helping. When it was, when Kyrie was on, I was about to say vacation, on his days off, and KD, and it was just KD and James, James was, would halfway show up. And a lot of people thought it was just James Harden not wanting to be with the Nets, but he's doing the same he here. So it's not a Nets James Harden thing, it's just a James Harden thing. I really don't understand. The offense, super lackluster, um, James, you're supposed to be the guy closing out games. What we've been missing the last couple of seasons is closer, a shot creator. 
and he's not doing that for us. In the playoffs, those first three games in his Philly debut, yeah, he was popping in. The first three games, everything was great. We played the Knicks twice, a bum team, and we the stats went up, everything looked good. But after those first three games, what's been going on? But I'm not here to rant about James Harden again. You already know that. Moving on, Matisse Thibel. Actually, let me say something positive first before I do that. Tobias Harris, y'all, Tobias freaking Harris. Do, Tobias Harris's contract is insane, but y'all, Tobias Harris is the only one who's been showing up night in and night out in the playoffs. Tobias Harris, yeah, who we boo, who we clown, who I talk so much to you about. We said he needed to show up, and he showed up. James Harden is the one that hasn't shown up. So are we even really going to trade Tobias? I mean, I know we have to free up money and whatever, but Tobias is the only one that's been consistent. Last playoffs to this playoffs, he's the only one that's translated right over. So kudos to Tobias because he's the only one who's been showing up night in and night out. Now, Matisse Thibel. Matisse obviously couldn't play in those two games against the Raptors, and he sucked yesterday. Y'all, Matisse... We had the whole discussion who we're going to trade. when we Before we knew we were getting James Harden, when we were floating around trade packages for Ben Simmons and other teams were like, oh, include Matisse Thibault. We were like, oh, Matisse is untouchable. Y'all, Matisse is touchable now because it's 2022. And he is an extreme liability or offense, and we know that, but now it's just insane. The Raptors not even respecting him, can back up off him, making everything easier for the Raptors' defense, knowing the Sixers only got four players on offense. Not even respecting Brother Man. Leaving Brother Man open. Leaving him able to double team, knowing he's going to pass it over to Tyrese Maxey, knowing he's not going to take shots. Matisse Thibel, y'all, been stinking the G up, y'all. So I know we were like, Matisse is untouchable. We were like that, but y'all can touch him now. Like, if it's some trade packages and we are going to get a new player, boom, 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 boom. I ain't mad at all if Matisse, because like I said, the... You can't just be a one-sided player in, in the NBA. His defense isn't that phenomenal to the point where he could be out here just such a liability for us on offense. Now, going forward, we're going to need Tyrese Maxey to be way more aggressive. And, of course, when James Harden had the offense flowing really well, boom, 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 Tyrese Maxey is at his best, of course. But since James Harden has had this offense, our half-court offense, especially so stagnant, Tyrese Maxey has definitely been a, um, of course, I don't know, you'll even know what the word is, the perfect word is. He's been a um, victim. He's been a victim because, you know, he's not getting set up correctly. He's not getting the touches he needed. Boom, boom, boom. We got to figure out the offense. And one thing that we need to do, Joel Embiid needs to stay down low. Way too much time on the perimeter for Joel Embiid last game. And I don't know if it's the thumb. Maybe he doesn't want to get too aggressive down low because of the thumb. But my thing is, if you're going to play, if you're going to play injured, then play injured. But if you can't be on the court and be a liability while you're on the court, because last night that defense was not good coming from Joel and B. Achua had himself a night. Like I'm saying, Joel and B is the biggest man on the court. The biggest size advantage we have against this lengthy Raptors team. And we have to take advantage and he has to be aggressive. And he has to stay down low. Like there was one stretch last night where he was really getting going. A lot of offensive boards, putbacks going to the line. But that was just a little five, six minute, seven minute spurt. It's got to be a full game. And what's I saw somebody in the comments say this and was like, maybe um, the Sixers are seeing Joel's injury and maybe they're thinking they don't have a long-term chance in the playoffs, so they're unmotivated. I really hope that's not the case. First of all, okay, realistically, if Joel is hurt, are we going to make a deep run? No, that's not realistic. But we have to get out the first round, y'all. We have a 3-0. We had a 3-0 lead. I don't care how unmotivated you are. You need to get out the first round. That's embarrassing. We don't want to make freaking history by being the first team to blow a 3-0 lead. But like I said, that thumb, I don't know, y'all. I really don't know. But my thing is, if you're going to be out there, be aggressive. Continue to be aggressive. Um, I really believe we're going to win. Like I said, originally I said Sixers and Six. I really think we're going to win game six. Like I said, if it goes to game seven, I'm really not feeling good about a game seven scenario, but I really feel comfortable. I'm not really comfortable. I'm positive. I'm feeling positive that we could take game six. 
Um, it's going to be tough in the second round. We already know. But guys, like I wanted to say real quick, these Raptors fans, y'all ain't won G yet. Y'all keep talking about, oh, Sixers feeling good. Y'all ain't won nothing yet. Y'all ain't won nothing yet. We got to win one game. It's two games left. We only got to win one. Y'all got to be focusing on winning two games. Y'all got to be perfect. Y'all can't slip. We just got to get one game. Y'all already popping G. Setting up some after parties. Y'all ain't won nothing yet. Relax. Pipe down. Relax. Y'all ain't won nothing yet. That's all I really want to say. And like I said, these Raptors fans, y'all all loud and proud in the comments right now. Where were y'all when we was up 3-0? Y'all was mighty quiet. Y'all talking about some, oh, we're so positive. Oh, we believe in our team. Y'all don't believe in y'all team. Then where were y'all at? It was crickets from y'all when we were up 3-0. Y'all weren't in the comments popping y'all G. No, y'all wasn't. Y'all only show up when y'all win. You know what I'm saying? Big. And two, a lot of Raptors fans was saying in our comments, oh, y'all booing y'all team. Yeah, we booing our team. Yeah. Because we got embarrassed last season. Second round exit from the Hawks, from playing lackluster, from blowing leads, from feeling comfortable. And they're coming out here doing the same G in the first round. Yeah, you're going to get booed. That's just what we do in Philly. Big. Big. But y'all, like Pastor used to say, that's my time. Make sure y'all like this video. Make sure you leave a comment, subscribe. Keep rocking with me tomorrow. We're going to have a full recap, NBA recap on Tough Calls. But make sure you guys like this video. Make sure you leave a comment, subscribe. Keep rocking with me. Channel links down below. And until I talk to you guys next time. Bye.